Hello, this is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com. Today we're going to be setting up and troubleshooting automatic meridian flips. The easiest way to troubleshoot meridian flips is to do it in the daytime instead of the nighttime. Well, this is for a number of reasons. For one, when you're you're going to eat up your imaging time if you're trying to troubleshoot in the night. And when you live in a place where it's usually cloudy and you get a clear night, the last thing you want to do is spend time troubleshooting the meridian flip. Another reason to troubleshoot meridian flips in the middle of the day is so that you could see your telescope better and you could tell uh, cable management or lack thereof and what's going to hit, what's not, and so that you'll feel even more confident in the middle of the night when it's dark and you can't really see what's going on. So I'll show you what I did to troubleshoot my meridian flip problems. They might not be the same as yours, but at least you'll get an idea of what route to take to start to troubleshoot this issue. I've searched the internet high and low and I still haven't been able to find enough information on this. And I'm not sure that my one video is going to add a whole lot to that. But hopefully you'll pick something out of here that you can use to try and troubleshoot yours. And if you do, please leave in the comments below, you know, if it works for you or if you just think I'm crazy, because I am, I I'm kind of nuts, especially trying to do all this in the middle of the day. Yeah, it's a nighttime hobby. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you what you should be looking for in EQ Mod and in um, Nina. If you've got a different acquisition software, um, I think it's still going to work for you. Uh, it's just going to be in a different spot. I like Nina for troubleshooting this because it's got the Sky Atlas in it. And it's a lot easier to find a target that's just about ready to hit the meridian so that you can slew to that target and add it to a sequence. Now, you're going to be taking pictures of nothing because you're going to leave your lens cap on because it's in the middle of the day. But you just need to find a target. And when you find that target that's just about to flip, now you can see what's going to happen in your telescope. And it's another good way to fine tune how many minutes you want to have before and after the meridian flip. So let's get into it. And when we're done in the software, we'll head out to the observatory and see if it works. Stay tuned. The first thing we need to do is open up Nina. Now we want to connect our telescope. And we're going to go to this little wrench in the EQ mod. And here's the latitude and the longitude. These need to be correct. The easiest way to find that out is to Google find longitude and latitude of an address and find latlong.net. From here, you type in your address. And it's going to give you your latitude and your longitude. However, in EQ Mod, under the latitude and longitude, this is looking for GPS coordinates. So you need to scroll down and find your GPS coordinates and then enter them in here. For whatever reason, when I try and get more detailed in this third box, um, see on the website it says 19.236 north, but if I put the point two three six in here, uh, it doesn't work. I mean, it'll take it, but then my meridian flips don't work. Don't know why, doesn't really bother me. I figured out, figured it out and it's working now, so that's good. So just put the number before, and 
the, before the decimal and, and don't put any numbers after the decimal right here. So then you're going to come into Nina. Let's minimize this. You can see, and we're going to go to options. And under general, you'll see latitude and longitude. Now here, you need to put the actual latitude and longitude. And again, I was able to go three spots past the decimal. If I got too detailed and entered all these, it would not work, wouldn't match up. I don't know if this is a Nina issue or if it's just um, something with EQ mod and Nina. But once you do that, I would start with the three numbers past the decimal and let the software put in what it wants to after that and give that a go. Um, you could always try more later. Once you have the correct longitude and latitude in both programs, you're going to want to go to Imaging tab. And we're going to set the Auto Meridian Flip to on. Mine's already on, but if yours isn't, make sure it's enabled. Uh, you could try my settings to start with. Uh, minutes after the Meridian is 3. Use telescope side of peer off. This one in particular, you probably want to make sure this is off if you're having issues. Um, I tried mine with on and I would get some very strange things happening. When it was time to do the meridian flip, uh, my deck axis would only go halfway and my RA would go further than it was supposed to. And I think it's because the that my mount wasn't reporting the correct um, side of the pier. And basically what use telescope side of pier, it'll know if you're on the west side pointing east or the east side of the pier pointing west. In here, in Nina, make sure this is off. Um, recenter after flip on, scope settle time 10 seconds, pause before meridian two minutes, and autofocus after flip you could turn this on if you want to refocus after the flip. I haven't had any issues with my focus changing after doing the flip, so I've got mine turned off. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run EQ Mod Tools. Um, if you installed it in the default directory, it will be right here. I have a highlighted here. Um, I've got mine pinned to the bottom toolbar. And you're going to want to go to driver setup. Here again, you can also enter your latitude and longitude here as well. Um, but what I want, we want to make sure is that um, the side of pier pointing ASCOM is is set. Right here, I tried this at none, I've tried it at physical, I've tried it at whatever V1.24G is. Pointing as calm is the only one that works for me. I'm not saying that's going to work for you, but these are my settings and my meridian flips working. You do not want this checked. Allow auto meridian flip. Okay, I made it into the observatory, and we're going to do the rest of it from in here. Um, excuse the audio, I don't have any sound editing in here yet, but I'm working on that. We're going to go to the Sky Atlas, and we're going to open the coordinates. We're going to make sure this is the object name's blank. And we need to pull up EQ mod and look at the local sidereal time, which happens to be 1742. So in here we're going to put um, from 17 through 18. And we're going to do a search. And what this does, it's going to bring up all the targets where the meridian is in between 1700 and 1800 local sidereal time. So now we have to scroll down and find um, a target that's coming up soon and hasn't already passed within this hour.
So it's um, the local sidereal is 1742, and this one's going to happen. Uh, calendar 350, and it's going to happen at 1748. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll unpark the telescope. And we'll set this as our sequence target. And we'll slew to the target. Back to sequencing. And I've already got um, 90 seconds and 20 targets set up right here, which should be fine. And then we'll hit start. Um, the camera's not pulled, but that's fine. We're not really taking pictures. And the first thing that happens is that we come to the auto meridian flip screen. This is because I've got it set up to wait so long before the meridian and then pause. And the software knows that um, to take another 90 second exposure isn't going to meet that time, so it'll immediately bring you up to the meridian flip and just make you wait the extra minutes. So we're going to wait just over six minutes to pass the meridian, and then we'll see if it does the flip. So there's a couple things I want to mention. Um, for starters, you do need to be sequencing when testing the meridian flip. Uh, you don't want to just set through the target and then expect it to flip. Um, if it's not actually running a sequence, and I'm pretty sure this is the same for all the acquisition softwares and not just Nina, but you'll want to, um, you'll have to be running the sequence and then it'll actually do the flip. Okay, so we got 10 seconds left and when it's done counting down, the telescope should start to move. It's going to actually do the flip. Here we go. You'll notice that my um, cables are all hanging loose and I like spaghetti wire. Um, I found that this actually works for me. I've tried to bundle them up and do cable management. Um, however, things get stuck then. It's kind of ironic, but that's actually what happens. So when I let them hang loose, um, it seems to work better. So you'll see that the entire um, telescope will move back to the target. And instead of being on the telescope being on the west side pointing east, now it's considered as being on the, the east side pointing west. So when you look in the setting that says side of pier, um, it would be sending the signal that it's on the east side pointing west. So there you have it. If for any reason the telescope didn't flip, we would make adjustments. Then we would go back into the Sky Atlas. We would find uh, another target that's going to happen in five or ten minutes. We'd set it for that. We'd start a fake sequencing target and um, let it go. And that's how you continue to test it during the daylight hours so that you could see what's happening. And you could also test your cable management or lack thereof, as in my case. Um, but doing it in the middle of the night at 1 a.m. and not working and you want to continue to um, capture your target. So what I what happened to me was is that I would just cancel it because it didn't work. And then I would automatically slew to it and replate solve and continue because I didn't want to miss out on imaging time. And so it wasn't until one day I decided that um, just to come out here and do it in the middle of the day, uh, with, the, with the roof still on the observatory because the telescope doesn't have to be um, pointed exactly at the target. It just thinks it does. And then you can troubleshoot from there. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if it has, please uh, leave a comment and, and a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.